Feeling overwhelmed in a jungle of elements? Fear not. Embark on a journey with us as we introduce a finds group function, your compass in the wilderness of design chaos. How to create a group. Before group creation, consider adjusting the arrangement. Click on the element you want to modify, expand the menu, and change its front or backward position. Now, it's time to bring them together into a group. Select elements, which will be outlined in blue, and unleash your imagination by combining text, shapes, notes, any items in any way you like. You can even combine groups, forming a larger, more diversified cluster. No constraints on your creativity. You can easily edit existing groups. Click on an element or region. Here comes the identified group. Resize by adjusting the borders. You will witness all elements within the group proportionally adjust. Or drag to move a group. Say no to select and adjust one by one. What's more, double-click the existing group name to change. Now, every click will remind you what it represents. Frame versus group. In our previous video, we discussed the wonders of frames. It seems both of them can combine elements. And offer features like copy as PNG insert into page, allowing you to reuse the masterpiece you created. However, notice that during groups movement, large groups consistently encompass smaller ones. Components being moved outside of the frame area won't be included with frames. Also, only frames allow the presentation function, which is unavailable in groups. With a finds group function, you can become a pro at crafting diverse compositions. Don't hesitate to try it now. Unleash imagination in effortless editing and freedom of combination. Dive in and explore the magic now.